northern part of Kuala Lumpur lies Sentol, one of the oldest enclaves in the city. Sentol today offers a mix of the old and the new, such as the pre-war shop houses, flats, temples, and churches, as well as sparkling new high-rises and commercial projects, mainly by YTL Land and Development Burhad. YTL is redeveloping the area based on its Sentol master plan that began 13 years ago. As a result of the YTL Sentol master plan, many other developers such as UOA Development, Malati Essan Group and Meridian Maxim have entered Sentol in the past decade. The rapid redevelopment of Sentol has boosted property values in the vicinity. According to the edgeproperty.com's data, the average price per square foot of non-landed residential property spiked 17.5% in the third quarter of 2014 to 387 ringgit per square foot from the 330 per square foot from the year before. However, Sentol's property transactions activity has been muted lately with total transactions for the 12 months in the third quarter of 2014 plunging 41.8% to the 191 units from 328 units. Property consultant Jerome Home believes Bank Negara Malaysia's rulings on loan approvals have resulted in a high loan rejection rate. Some markets like Kuala Lumpur and Selangor saw lower overall transactions, yet higher total transacted value. It also reflected the nationwide property market trend of declining transactions but increased transacted value for the past few years. However, consultants are optimistic on the outlook of the existing non-landed property in Sentol due to its location nearby Kuala Lumpur city centre and the many new developments coming up in the area. Some of the upcoming projects within the vicinity are The Fennel by YTL Land, Bayu Sentol by Mulati SN Group, Block Mercury at Sentol Village and Maxim City Lights. With more new projects being launched, real estate agents and consultants believe that the future of Sentol looks promising despite fears of oversupply. Real estate agent Govinda Sami Balaguru says that Sentol is a property investment location that you could say, how could it go wrong? However, with the increasing number of high-rises, more infrastructure needs to be in place. Read the full report on Sentol in the June 26 issue of the Edge Property Pullout 